Um, we never had the time I've been there any physically violent actions. We haven't had any students hitting someone else or hurting other people. And also because it's a really small school, everyone knows everyone else and everyone knows what everyone else is doing. So there's sort of not much that people don't know about. We're always very aware of problems or conflicts people might have and all very aware of special situations and attentive to those situations and everyone tries to smooth things out if something's not going so well and it does work quite okay. Is there any violence at your school? None at all. Uh, uh, that's not our, true. Our, no. our school, uh, um, first of all, in, the, there's a, pro a very big problem of violence in schools in Israel. Um, an immense problem, I think, as well as one one of the um, most v schools, the most violent in schools in the world, maybe second place, I think, no. or even first. No. Um, uh, and in our school, we don't you don't see the kind of violence you see in other schools in Israel. In, in Israel, you, you can see um, serious, dangerous fights in schools that can injure a, a child. In our school, there is violence, but playful violence. You know, kids just rolling around beating each other up in a playful way without any intention to harm each other um, and there's complete intolerance for actual um, violence in, in order to harm other people if a person comes and I don't know punches someone they could easily just get kicked out of the school for for that one act if it's just verbal you know and people can be very angry yeah you know and we'll just let them be angry and yell at each other yeah. but the minute that somebody actually goes to yeah. do, commit violence against someone else in anger yeah. then they get separated and those are very you know we take those complaints very seriously we had a f uh, about three boys that were 14 year years old the first year that were very violent and aggressive and you know cursed at people and hit people and one of them actually got kicked out was you know the school meeting told him you're expelled and the other two were suspended for months and uh, told that if they wanted to return they'd have to present their case to the school meeting and uh, you know, convinced the meeting to accept them back into the school, but uh, they didn't come back. Whenever we suspend anyone, mm -hmm. we have to we have a conference with their their parents and oh, them. Yeah. You know, okay. and yeah, so we talk. I mean, usually, we try to make sure that the people that are on the conference are people who are sympathetic mm -hmm. to the person. Yeah. You know, they're not just there to you know, to you know emphasize the, you know, the, the punishment. Mostly they're there to say, you know, a, a lot of times we try to get a kid on the conference that had trouble when they were younger, mm -hmm. you know, with their own anger, you know, and so they can say, you know, you know, if you have an eight-year-old that hits people, you know, and trying to deal with that, having a 15-year-old on the committee that says, oh yeah, when I was eight, you know, I had trouble with my temper and I used to hit people and it was really hard for me to learn to do it, but yeah. I did, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah, and these are some of the things I did. You know, that's that's always our goal in these conferences. No, I know there was a time when I um, threatened to cause serious bodily harm to another student, uh, and then tried to do it. Uh, I think that was the worst thing I ever did. I got suspended for three days for that. Ever did. <laughs> if there's a case where someone is hurt, um, when their feelings are hurt, there's a rule against it. You don't hurt other people people's feelings. And it works quite well. I've often heard little kids saying, stop, you're hurting my feelings, there's a rule against that, or stop it, or I'm gonna put in a complaint. And that's quite effective because the justice community deals with those complaints and people talking about it. And it really does help to prevent bullying or any yeah, abuse um, happening. At the school, the students who, who have been uh, violent at um, traditional schools, um, how do they, um, how do they behave when they are new to your school? How do they maybe change their behavior? You never know which kids it is. I mean, the sweetest, most 
sensitive, harmless kids go, oh yeah, I get I got kicked out of my last school for beating people up, like, unbelievable. They just don't feel a need to be violent. 